Welcome back to the Nurturing Coach channel. Today I want to talk about co-parenting with a narcissist and how a narcissist co-parents. So if you're an ex of a narcissist and are struggling with the day-to-day -day interactions and how to protect your children, do keep watching. hard for me and it's about co-parenting with a narcissist because well for one narcissists don't make great parents they make even worse co-parents they just do not want to do it they it's all about control for them um if they use the kids they use them as status symbols so to show off to everyone else oh look what a great dad i am or look what a great mum i am it's never about the welfare of the child and they'll happily use these kids as weapons to keep punishing you so i felt it was a really important video that i did today i have a group a co-parenting group and the the emotional turmoil that people go through when trying to co-parent with a narcissist is astonishing it's day to day and it does it does get better not the narcissist but how you deal with it you become more accustomed to it you learn to recognize times when it's going to get worse you learn to recognize what certain things mean and when you're being manipulated and that that allows you and your children to manage your own emotions better because ultimately any interaction with a narcissist it's about how you manage your own emotions at the end of the day because you can't change them. They are, they're not going to listen to reason. They're not going to listen to you pleasing with them, telling them that you're upsetting the kids. They don't care. All they care about is their own point of view. And so I felt it was really important to do this because I know so many of you out there are struggling with this right now. So first of all, let's look at how, how a narcissist parents. And honestly same way as they treated you the exact same technique they will gaslight their children they will project onto them they will manipulate them they will control them they will rage at them and they will expect them to be of service to them essentially that's how they see them they're possessions nothing more than a possession to them to be used at will from their perspective so when you're trying to co-parent and you're of a completely different mindset, obviously you're, for you, everything is about the kids. All you ever think about is are you doing the right thing? Um, oh, should I have said that? You're constantly beating yourself up about have you done something wrong? Because you, you understand the impact that their behaviours, your behaviours have on them. Uh, but the narcissist doesn't. And so it can be very frustrating when you're co-parenting because you expect the same of them you think they're a parent i'm a parent we must think the same way they don't and the quicker you let go of that the easier the process becomes because you learn that it doesn't matter what i say they're going to think that way you can do what whatever you can do for your child and i do want to make the point here is that yes it's horrible for children who have narcissistic parents it causes a lot of damage damages their self-esteem their confidence their trust but you, you as the co-parent, you as that other resilient, non-narcissistic, empathetic parent, create such an opposite to that parenting. And you can build their, resi their resilience. It is a well-known fact that having one stable loving, par stable, loving parent can make huge differences in abusive environments. We used to look at it like um, you'd have all the bad on one side and the good on the other and it would be a scale. And the good counts for so much more. You can, 
all the love and all the nurturing and all the belief that you give your child, it will help them deal with it. It's not going to be an easy ride for them, I can't sugarcoat it, but you do make a difference. So first of all, know that. Know that the way you love your child does make a difference to them and will help them in the long run. But a lot of it comes down to you and you modelling to them how to deal with the narcissist. What I've worked with a lot of people and who those who have had narcissistic parents, one of their biggest biggest issues really is that the non narc parents never did anything to stop the abuse. They accepted that it was happening. And whilst there were many reasons for that, some of them emotional, some of them financial, staying in that environment actually was worse for them in the long run because they didn't they didn't get that balance all they got was the negative so for you if you've separated or if you're considering separating please do it's not going to be easy but it, it you have to do it for your children they need that black and white they need to know that that isn't right the way the narcissist parents them isn't how they should be parented they need to be able to see that if you are still in a relationship and you find that actually you're able to do that within the house then kudos to you I don't know many people that can, but if you can, then great. But for most people, the narcissist tends to take central stage within the house. That need to feel adequate. That might mean that they ignore the kids, but even so, they're demanding of your time. And so it's really important that as a parent, obviously you are modelling and you are showing your child that they are important and what good behaviours are. So if you are still in the same house, Talk to them about what the narcissist does. Make sure there's an avenue for them to have those conversations. Make sure that you create a safe environment away from the house on the walk home from school or in a special time on a Saturday afternoon when it's just the two of you or just the three of you, that you have those conversations where they can express their emotions, they can speak freely, you can talk about right and wrong and all of those sort of things that the narcissist isn't able to do. Um, but again, back to the modelling, you need to be showing them how you have put boundaries in place for the narcissist. What Have you shown them what you will and won't accept? Because they're going to learn that from you. So it's that same one, isn't it? We're going back to it, but boundaries are so important because you are modelling that to your children. You can't expect your child to learn how to handle them if you haven't figured it out. So first thing is you figure out how to deal with them. Figure out where your boundaries lie and stick to them because your children are going to learn so, so much from that and from you. That's going to be the best lesson that you can possibly give them is showing them that you have strong boundaries because they're sponges, they'll pick up on that and they'll want to copy that They'll and they'll see that if you can do it, they can do it. And also, when they do do it, you've got their back because you've done it. So it creates that strength between the two of you. <coughs> Apologies for that. It's also important that you learn to communicate because a narcissist doesn't communicate effectively. We know that. They sulk, they rage, they, they gaslight, they use all these manipulative controlling tactics in all communication. So you need to communicate effectively with your children, otherwise they're just going to learn the same path, the, the same tools that the narcissist is teaching them. And we don't want children growing up knowing how to lie and manipulate because that's not going to make them very popular. It's not going to make them popular in school. It's going to either set them up to be bullies or to be bullied. And so again, you need to model how you communicate with others, including the narcissist, and also how you communicate with your children. So. With regard to emotions, narcissists can't deal with emotions because they don't have them. But for you, it's important that you label. So if you're angry or sad, that's okay. You're allowed to have those emotions. They're good emotions to have. They tell you that something's not quite right. But label it. So your child knows. You can say, Mummy's feeling really mad at the moment or Daddy's feeling really mad at the moment. I'm just going to calm myself down and show them that. Show them what it is and how you deal with it because these are all skills that you, your child will not learn from the narcissist but they will pick up from you. And I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish there because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a series 
of these because it's, it's too much to cover in one video. Um, Co-parenting with a narcissist is huge and because the abuse for you doesn't end there and it unfortunately it's passed down to your children. So I'm going to do another video next week about co-parenting but we'll look at a different area of it. Uh, but I hope you found that helpful. For those of you who have subscribed, absolutely, thank you so much, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know what, I'm going to be blatant and I'm going to beg you please subscribe to my channel it really does help enormously with getting more views and more views means i can help more people i can help more people like you who are in this position and haven't had anyone talk about it let's talk about it let's get it out there let's say how horrible it is so please do subscribe and like and share if you know anyone else will benefit and i will see you in the next Bye -bye.